Be in the Kitchen here and welcome to my cookery school and today I'm going to show you how to make a pan non-stick especially for my dearie bronze skills cooking course going on at the moment. Um, every pan needs to be non-stick and non-stick pans very quickly lose their non-stick if they're brought to a too high heat too regularly. So you can turn any pan non-stick and today I'm just going to use a really good quality old but it looks like new heavy duty stainless steel pan. Start off by putting some ordinary oil, vegetable oil, sunflower oil in the pan. Then a small handful of ordinary cooking salt. The pan then goes onto a high heat. And we're going to wait until the oil heats up and gets to smoking point, till you can really see the smoke over the top of the pan. And that is important because the oil, a really hot oil, is going to then burn off anything on the pan that's making it stick. And you can't see what's making it stick, but believe me, there are little bits, tiny bits, that are stuck on the bottom of the pan. So we're just going to have a moment while it comes up to the smoking temperature, and we will watch for the haze going over the top. One of the things to look out for as it's coming up to the temperature is that you can see the surface of the oil slightly change. It goes a little bit kind of wavy, and that's an indication that the oil is melting down and it's getting up to temperature. Just moving it around. It's very important that you keep an eye on the oil when it's in the pan because bringing hot oil to a smoking point means that it's nearly at a flammable state. So you never would leave a pan while you're doing this. You stay with it, you manage it and move on when it's safe. While it's just heating up I'm going to prepare a nice thick wadge of kitchen paper. The reason for this is twofold. The thick wadge is going to protect my hand and the pad is going to be used to clean the pan which is going to scrape off all the burnt bits. Are we nearly there? You can see the oil is running now. Looking for this smoky haze over the top of the pan, you'll also be able to smell the heat a little bit. Now it's just coming up now, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it on the video but definitely I've got smoke coming off the top of the pan. So the, pan, the oil is hot enough and the pan is ready. I'm going to turn off the heat and then step backwards to the sink. And I'm tipping out the hot oil into the sink. Make sure there's nobody around. Then I'm going to bring the pan back, get my wadge of paper and I'm going to use that to rub all the way down the pan really using that salt as kind of like a brazen and you can you can feel it becoming shinier and that's the job done i'm going back to the sink just to get rid of the extra salt and there i have a lovely shiny non-stick pan which i can now show you how to make an omelet with the pan will stay non-stick just until it goes into a big bowl of soapy water at that point if you use it after then you will need to remake it non-stick but if you just wipe it with a, um, a piece of kitchen paper with oil in it, it will remain non-stick all the time. Enjoy. <laughs> 